Merry Christmas! I'm Deceased Crab. Let's play Merry Gear Solid 2 Ghosts of Christmas Past. Okay, let's take a look at the backstory. First off, Merry Gear, something we've never seen before. So, Merry Gear Solid 2 stars Solid Snake. It was made by the Podonkian. Here's some detail on the Ebenezer Eve incident. This is original content, not in the previous Metal Gear Solid, I mean Merry Gear Solid game. None of this really makes any sense to me. Reverse seeing is believing? Ah, you can pause it if you really want to read it. Snowbody. Oh, I should warn you guys, the puns in this game are severe. Oh my goodness. The ha he ho ho ho. There is a major Metal Gear Solid 2 bent in this game. So, if you didn't like the sprawling plot of that game, this one might be difficult for you. But there's some good funny content in here. I say, stick with it. Spirit of Progress. Alright. Let's take a look at the other previous op. Yeah, I'm no good at this. Whatever. Oh, but I did find all ten items. So, here's the previous game, Merry Gear Solid. If you didn't see that Let's Play, go look at it now. Seriously. And this is basically a short summary. Santa's little helper, yada yada, yada Solid Snake. Oops. Big beard. You killed Santa Claus. Oops. Oops is right. I don't want to hear it, Kitty. Not this Let's Play. Spare me. All right. Without further ado, let's get to the game. Outer Saven. Three years after the Secret Santa incident, we had classified information that a new Santa had taken power. The whole thing was naughty, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. Outer Saven Mall. Everything in this game is a pun. Everything. The voice acting is better, the kids are still naughty as heck, and you still lose the minute you get seen. Witnessed. Cripes, they had a lot of voice actors in this. Yeah, kitty, it's Outer Saving Mall. Look, leave me alone, please. This is a nice little setup. Arthur Lee presents. Uh oh. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. It looks like the stocking stocking is busted. Ah, uh, what stocking stocking? The stocking you had me wear. You said it was made with synthetic octopus fibers that would make me nearly invisible to the human eye. You didn't really. <laughs> Snake, that was just an ordinary... Oh, right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. Well, I'm just happy you managed to get to the sneak point without getting yourself hurt. I'm happy as long as no one gives me What is he, like 65 at this gifts. point? Oh, you mean that thing with Naomi? No, I'm talking about Cole. How am I supposed to have a Merry Christmas if that's all I get these days? Well, Snake, it's been a while since anyone's had a truly Merry Christmas. What with the sudden surge of PNCs popping up around the world. PNCs? PNCs. Pretty naughty children. Naughty doesn't even begin to describe them. They're more like hired mercenaries selling their services to the highest bidder. It used to be just a few rogue groups, but now it's become a global phenomenon. In fact, 
The world's seen the creation of at least a dozen PNCs in the past three years alone. So it all started three years ago. That's about the time I assassinated Big Big uh, Saint Nick. Oh, uh, that's right. It's likely that Saint Nick's death lies at the root of all of these problems. After all, he did play an important role in the SOC system. SOC system? The Spirit of Christmas system. A series of checks and balances created by the three wise men in order to maintain an equal balance of naughty and nice. And without a Saint Nick to keep the SOC system in check, there hasn't been an incentive to be nice. That's right, Snake. We've dropped you off at Outer Savin Mall. Why? Outer Savin? Yeah, you know, the one mall in which shoppers will always have a place. Let me guess. I'm not just here to do some last-minute Christmas shopping. I'm afraid not, Snake. I recently dug up some information on the U.S. government's encrypted security channel about an extremist group that calls themselves the Ghosts of Christmas Past. The information I've uncovered shows that they've got their hands on Santa's hat. What's so dangerous about a hat? Well, it's not so much the it's hat red itself and white as it is has the a bob on it. it. Whoever controls Santa's hat has full control over the SOC system. And whoever controls the SOC system has full control over the entire child population of the world. So what? The ghosts have threatened to use the hat to create a world of PNCs. A world of perpetual naughtiness. That's right. The ghosts are demanding the brain of Saint Nick. But it's anyone's guess as to what they're gonna do with it. It's gotta be something big. Something worth using the entire world's child population as a bargaining chip for. Something like... Metal gear. No, Snake. There's absolutely <laughs> no reason to jump to conclusions. All we know is that the ghosts have arranged a meeting with the U.S. president somewhere in it's that never mall. Metal gear. Your mission is to find out what's going on and to put a stop to the ghost's plan before the meeting takes place. Gotcha. For the duration of this mission, we'll be referring to each other by code names. What's wrong with my old code name? What? Old Snake? No. Solid Snake. No one's called you that in years. You're yeah, old man. Look, I'll let you decide for yourself. Would you rather be called Old Snake or Cold Snake? Uh, cold Snake, I guess. Good. Remember, Snake, the ghosts have Santa's hat, which means that any children you run into during the mission are under their control. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. Got it. Head to the elevator. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012. Point two five. Christmas Good Day. Good luck. Yep, I'm gonna be mostly quiet whenever talking is going on. Although sometimes I will be, you know, complaining or ah, oh, come on. Hold it, Snake. It's foolish to run headfirst into every situation. Give me a break. By holding the shift key near a wall, you Shut can up. hug up against it. Doing so will Shut allow up. you to get a better view of what's up ahead. Shut up. Can I hold the shift key near a kid? No, Snake. Stranger danger. Okay, that was funny. Wall hugging. These aren't the most paying attention kids I've ever met. Just my imagination. Let's try the codec button. Just cause. You're on the roof of Outer Savin Mall. Find the entrance to the building in the northeast corner. What if I don't want to? You're on the roof of- That's nice. I was hoping he would do something else. Oh, come on. You can always access me via codec by pressing the C button. If you find yourself in a difficult situation, just give me a call. I'm just going to call you to get the gag codec calls. That's the only reason I would. All right. That's... Ah, ice. So, not only do you move slower on ice, but it just keeps you moving in one direction. The last one you pressed. Get used to these codec that kid calls. ahead is guarding that landing pad pretty carefully. You should try distracting him by knocking on a nearby wall. To do that, hug a wall with the shift key, and then press the control key to make a noise. Any nearby guards will come investigate the source of the noise. You can use this to open up a sneaking path. Sneaking so path? So I press control while hugging a wall and knock on it. Got it. Say, Otacon. Yeah? Knock, knock. Oh, what was that noise? Heard. You're supposed to say, who's there? It's just my imagination. That's a little too meta for my taste. Alright, let's see how his hearing radius is. Pretty good. What was that? That was nothing. Walk on by. I just want to punch him in the face as he walks by, but I know it's not in my best interest. Alright, into the mall. 
Learn the ghost's plan. Alright, this seems like a good enough stopping point as any. Whoa. Join us next time for Inside the Mall. I'm Deceased Crab. Good night. <laughs>